Revenge Films. This is a story from a time when I was on transfer assignment and living in a temporary house. One day, we started to find some strands of long hair around the toilet every now and then. My family consisted of my husband and my two daughters, but even my daughter with the longest hair only went down to about her shoulders. There was nobody in the family who had hair as long as what we were finding on the floor. After we thought maybe it was flying in from somewhere, perhaps from the window, but it didn't make sense for it to keep happening and I got scared. On top of that, our window all had a hard lock on them, but the bathroom window in particular was a narrow safety window that would only open about 8 inches, so it was hard to believe that somebody would actually be able to go in and out of there. But no matter how many times I cleaned it up, a few days later they would be there again, and given that there were long strands of hair to it, it started to feel like a horror movie and I got even more scared. Even my daughter started to ask, Is there a ghost in this house? To be honest, I was absolutely terrified of things like that, so I really didn't want to answer. But my youngest daughter was still in preschool, and I knew that I couldn't let them be scared in their own home. I'm sure I just flew in when there was a fan on or in the toilet, and I did my best to reassure them. But when we moved into the house, we hadn't heard of any previous incidences there, and I was wondering if maybe the landlord was keeping a secret from us. But what? If it is actually a ghost, I started to think when a certain incident did occur. One day when I came home, I saw my daughter crying, so when I asked her what happened, I didn't want to believe the words coming out of her mouth. Mommy, is our house a cursed house? Huh? Cursed? Where did you hear such a thing? One of my friends in class said that the house has a ghost, and that's why it's cursed. Who, uh, who was the name of your friend that said that? It was Misaki. I was so shocked to hear such a rumor was floating around, but if my daughter was going to be bullied for it, even if it was a joke, I couldn't let it continue. I immediately called the preschool. The preschool also had no idea that a rumor like that was floating around and they were surprised. However, I asked them to get in touch with Misaki's parents to try to figure out what on earth this ridiculous rumor had started from. It was even more awful than I thought. The rumor was that there was a long-haired ghost in our house. And if you come into the house, then you would be cursed. Even worse, they said that if you played with my daughter or spoke with her at all, you would also get cursed and die. When I first moved into this town, I remember talking to some of the few moms about this creepy horror movie-like situation, but none of those people ever used it against me. If anything, they saw how serious I was about it. And they started reading some books, trying to find ways to get rid of whatever the entity was. That's why I couldn't imagine that any of them would start such a terrible rumor. On top of that, I was still new to this town, and I couldn't really recall doing anything to make someone hate me like that. Even if it's just a joke, it certainly wasn't funny. And I wanted to get to the bottom of this rumor. When I spoke to my husband about this, he was furious that it was affecting our children. Until then, he had been brushing it off, saying that there wasn't a ghost and nothing went all was happening. But this time, he sprung right into action. He immediately went to go buy a small security camera and attached it to the window so it could be seen. This should tell us the truth about those long strands of hair, whether it's a ghost or not. I'm not letting my daughters get bullied over this. We're going to get to the bottom of this and kick those rumors to the curb. A few days after the camera was put in place, my husband and I put our children to bed and went to check the footage. Then, right in the middle of the day, we saw a long clasp wiggle into the window and drop a few strands of hair into the bottom. Are you serious? What is this? This is what they're doing, and then starting those rumors that are affecting our children. They're clearly doing this with bad intentions. This time, my husband installed a camera on the air conditioned unit right outside the window. Then, of course, we found out who the culprit was. It was the wife of the house behind us, whom we had almost never spoken to. My husband and I took the footage straight to her house. What on earth is this about? And you must be the one starting the horrible rumors that our house is cursed, aren't you? It would be one thing to start the rumors about us, but you just spread it amongst our children's preschool. What's wrong with you? Oh, shut up! I'm minding my own business and everybody gossips anyway, so what about it? And she started off this way and then continued to talk, but her reasoning was ridiculous. It turns out that the woman had a dog but the person living in the house before us was always complaining about the dog's barking. She was relieved when that resident moved, but then my family and I started to move in shortly after, 
and she didn't want any of us to annoy her either. So she came up with a plan to chase us out of the house. That's the only reason why you started rumors about my daughters? Do you have any idea how that must have felt? Having their friends make fun of them and say that our house was cursed? Rumors will disappear in no time. This is all because you guys wouldn't get out of the house. She didn't show any regret at all. As irritated as we were, we left her house and went straight to report her to the police. We notified them about the strands of hair in the bathroom and the rumors that she started in order to have my daughters bullied at school. We got a lawyer involved to sue her. Why the hell should I have to pay more money for starting a little rumor? This must be a joke. She tried to stand her ground, but our lawyer showed no mercy and managed to win the case against this petty woman. We turned the footage into the preschool as well and had them show it to all of the mothers who had heard this rumor to speak to their kids about it. And my daughters were no longer ostracized and were able to make friends again. That woman's hair was also only down to her shoulders, and it turns out that she was picking up the hair from the floor of her salon and using other people's hair to try to scare us. Knowing that we had so many random people's hair in our house made me feel even more disgusted and I wanted to throw up. On top of that, the woman living behind us and our house were owned by the same landlord, and when he heard about this incident, she terminated their long-standing contract and had her kicked out of the house. The landlord had already heard from the previous resident about the issue with her dog, but at the time, he didn't think it was enough to be kick her out of the house. However, he knew that she had crossed a line with this harassment. Of course, it was bad enough that word got around from my daughters, but for the landlord, it would have been just as bad to have rumors floating around his house that it was cursed. It would make it hard for him to find another tenant, especially since we all saw how quickly the rumors spread around this town. No matter how small and silly of a rumor it may have been, there were bound to be people who would avoid living in the house with any rumors, and some people might be too scared to stay. I could understand how the landlord felt, and where he was coming from by kicking out the lady to avoid any risks like that. The house would be nothing without somebody living in it, and paying rent, and if nobody was living there, then there was a higher chance of the house that it would deteriorate too. The dog didn't bark a lot, but I knew that's just what a dog does. So we weren't planning on making any complaints just because the dog barked a few times. Plus our family loved dogs. We were here on a transfer assignment, so we weren't going to be living in that house long anyway. And we wanted to be able to get along with all our neighbors. In the end, the town found out that she was the one who started those rumors and had my children bullied. And it came back to bite her in the butt. Nobody went to her salon anymore and shortly after she was kicked out of her house. Her hair salon also collapsed, and I heard that she moved to another town. I can understand why it was stressful to have a neighbor complain about her dog so much, but that certainly wasn't something worth getting my children involved in. But according to the landlord, she had also never trained her dog whatsoever. And the reason why she kept the dog outside in the first place was because she was annoyed by how much it would bark inside. Even if you're somebody who loves dogs with that reasoning, it would make me want to complain too. As much as we love pets, our family was always moving and we can't guarantee that we would be placed in a pet-friendly house. But if we ever get an opportunity to have a pet, then it's important to take responsibility and make sure it's well-trained for its own sake too. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more!